everybody I know I'm looking a little crazy right now let's not comment on the hair I just curled it and I'm letting it sit in these voluminous curls before I shake it out before my 12 ish plus hours of travel today if you clicked on this video then that means we are going to pack this hundred liter Patagonia black hole duffel for three weeks in Europe now this is my version of backpacking Europe because I am going to be wearing this duffel like a backpack and my travel backpack on the front when I'm going from place to place if you guys also know me I'm a chronic overpacker so this to me is a feat do I think it's over 50 pounds probably I'm grateful because on the way over I get up to 70 on Delta but I do have an inter flight and that's gonna have to change but that's a problem for when we try and go from France to Croatia but without further ado let's do a little pack with me and how I'm packing this duffel for 21 days we are going to Italy the south of France and a week on a yacht in Croatia plus I have a few days after that <gasps> Oh man. <laughs> I'm gonna empty this out and start all over with you guys. Okay, this is essentially empty now. I'm not gonna take the things out of the top or the shoes in the compartment that I put them in, but let me give you an overview of this duffel bag. Like I said, this is the Patagonia Black Hole Duffel Bag. I got the 100 liter. I also have a 75 liter, but I tried to squeeze everything in there and it was not gonna work. It wasn't even gonna close and I didn't have my bathroom bag in there yet. So I'm settling for the 100. This is obviously a checked bag. I'm not doing it in like a backpack that you can use as a carry-on. Again, like I said, I'm an overpacker. So this in general is a feat, but if you're interested in having an easier way to move around Europe with the cobblestone streets this is a great idea I will come back in three weeks in another video on my channel and tell you if I think that that was the right thing to do if I am glad that I packed everything in a duffel and not in a suitcase I have no idea but what I can tell you is I don't think I'd be able to fit all of this in one big suitcase I have the larger way bag so I think this is gonna be maybe a good fit now that I'm thinking about it I hope that it fits the standard size for luggage I didn't really think about that because this is kind of a huge bag but I think this is about the size of a big suitcase I don't know I'm not gonna worry about that so this is what the duffel looks like so much room on the inside and it's got these two mesh pockets up top in this pocket I've got some protein bars my earrings an extra little duffel bag in case I overpack and need to check a second bag or something some wax strip and some jewelry and then the side I have hair clips bras and my retainer and my sleep mask the only other thing in here right now is there is a front pocket right here which has an incoming pouch on the inside of the bag and this is where all of my shoes are except for of course the shoes that I am wearing to the airport I have three different pairs of flat sandals and then a pair of white sneakers in here because that's just what I'm gonna be wearing for my trip and now we're gonna pack up this stuff and I'm gonna go through everything I use packing cubes on a case-to-case -case basis but especially in this case and being gone for three weeks I'm absolutely doing packing cubes for this trip you guys don't need to do anything fancy I've had these packing cubes for years I used to work at Lily Pulitzer but I think I have plenty linked on my storefront under my travel essentials these are the regular packing cubes which again are Lily Pulitzer and then I also have this pack which is from Amazon these are actually compression packing cubes so it compresses all of your things to be smaller if you need more room obviously this doesn't compress the weight but it does make space I have two larger packing cubes this is one of them this is filled with dresses or one set of dresses and I'm gonna put this on the bottom to one of the corners and here's the other one also packed with dresses so these two packing cubes are in the bottom of the duffel and I'm gonna put a third also in the bottom so that's like kind of a flat bottom of the duffel bag. My next biggest duffel bag is this one which contains all of my bathing suits. So now that the bottom is filled, I'm gonna stack on top to one side because I also have my bathroom bag to put in here. So my next biggest packing cube is this one. And then I have this one which is like socks and underwear. Next I have this packing cube with a bunch of tops in it. Finally this one which are just some cover-ups. Also for this trip, I'm packing one purse and two belt bags. My purse is in my backpack because it is a nicer purse. If anything happens to this luggage, I will have that purse. And I'm packing two belt bags. This one's from Lululemon and this one, which I made these for my sister's bachelorette party is from Amazon. They are literally the same bag. I actually also have one more pair of shoes that didn't make it. These are not Gucci, but they are in this little Gucci thing. Just these low heels. I was gonna bring another pair of heels, but you know what? I just don't think it's absolutely necessary. It'll probably be something I wear just cause I brought, but that I don't need. And I'm packing these two hats, I got these custom made on Etsy. I can link the seller down below. But I'm going with my best friend and we are having these matching trucker hats which don't ever look good on me. But I thought that this customization was too cute to pass up so I bought them anyway. A travel essential for me. Some Celsius. You can pack these in a checked bag. I put it in a Ziploc in case 
anything happens to them. And I'm actually going to position them within the packing cube so that they're softly in there. Another thing I'm going to squeeze in between packing cubes is this little container that has all of my sunscreens in them. I'm also bringing one of these tote bags. It's very Europe to me. This is actually my merch that I had a while ago. It says, text me when your plane lands. But usually I wear it, honestly, with the plane tote on the outside. I'm going to pack this as well. And I do have a beach bag, so. I missed a packing cube. These are all of my bottoms and shorts. That makes more sense. I was wondering where this was. This luggage is getting pretty full. I have a feeling it's going to be so heavy. This is this beach bag, which is from Target. It's so me. It's so me. I saw it and I said, I absolutely cannot leave without this. I also have this quick dry towel. This is from Amazon. I've literally had this in semester at sea, but I think this will be good for going to the beach all the time. I'm also bringing some pastry crisps. I have these. I bought them and so I'm bringing them as a snack. And then the last thing to go in this bag will be my bathroom bag, which I am going to put in here kind of as a last minute thing, but I will show you what it looks like. This is my bathroom bag. As you can see, the ones that are unzipped still need stuff to be put in them. It's huge, but what I love is that eventually it's going to lay like this. And sometimes I zip it up and sometimes I leave it like this. I think for the sake of this bag, I'm going to leave it open face, but you can totally close it. It's obviously not fully organized because I still want to put on deodorant and perfume before I leave. I'm also not wearing this dress. But this is essentially what it looks like. I've got Q-tips, little hair clips, deodorant, perfume, dry shampoo, face wash, sunscreen, moisturizer, shampoo, conditioner, body wash, mascara, toothpaste, my toothbrush, tweezers, a razor, and my contact lens case. Oh, and contact lens solution. So this is everything and this little bag also linked on travel essentials is from Amazon so now once I get this bathroom bag inside of this bag I will be able to zip it up and I'm just gonna zip it up prematurely to show you how it works just like that I also have a little lock I don't know if I'm able to use it to lock up these zippers because it doesn't have a TSA lock so I'm not gonna lock it yet and I'm gonna ask at the airport before I check the bag because I would like to have it locked I have put on a little luggage tag here and then these handles close and if you're strong enough and you'd like to you can carry the bag with <laughs> this handle let me try and pick it up just to show you I don't even know how much this bag weighs oh but I would say this is probably 60 pounds <laughs> maybe a little less but it also comes with these backpack straps I have attached one side to them already I am going to take these off and store them while I have the bag go through the airport but as soon as I get the bag off the baggage claim I will take these which clip into the corners like so and then these become backpack straps. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna be walking around Europe with this on my back. Obviously I'm also going to be wearing something different. This set from Amazon, that's this little set, which is pants and a top, but I will just show you, hopefully not expose myself with this dress. Here is this. There is still a little bit of room up here. I mean, obviously I also don't have my bathroom bag inside of here yet, but just to show you, it's really heavy actually. And then here is the other strap. Once you have both straps on, like this is pretty manageable, but this is my version of backpacking Europe. It probably is not yours. I honestly really wanna go get on the scale right now and figure out how much this weighs because this doesn't even have my bathroom bag in it. I'm gonna be miserable. I'm gonna be miserable. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing I can really do and I do get 70 pounds. And like I said, on that little jumper flight, I will probably just take some weight out of here and put it in that other little zippable duffel that I have in here and use that as a carry-on and a backpack as a personal item. But you have to imagine walking around Europe and walking from place to place. I'm also gonna have a backpack strapped on to the front. Is this my smartest idea? Like I said, I'll come back in three weeks and tell you. But right now, I'm not so sure. Okay, so I forgot the scale. This house is always all over the place, but I think it's maybe not too much more over 50. You have to imagine I have at least another five pounds or so in this bathroom bag. So I definitely will need to separate things on the little jumper flights. For today, I will be okay. And I am just gonna focus on getting ready in the next couple of minutes to go. So that is how I packed in a duffel bag for three weeks in Europe. Like I said, it's my birthday of backpacking I will be miserable for like the 10 minute walks to and from the Airbnbs from the train stations but like what are you gonna do you gotta get it there somehow and it was either that or like have a million items or not enough stuff in a suitcase um so this is what we're working with this is the first time I've ever really done something like this other than semester at sea when I brought in those huge duffel bags but those at least had rollers on the bottom that would be so useful right now if I didn't donate them to somebody else who was going on semester at sea because I'm just now thinking like this would be nice to 
either roll or carry, but I guess those didn't have backpack straps. Those are like the LL Bean duffel bag. Anyway, I can't do anything about them anymore because I've got this bag. So I'm gonna see how this goes. I will keep you guys updated, but that is how I packed for three weeks in Europe. If you really wanna know what I packed, I packed three pairs of PJs, all the socks and underwear I could possibly need for more than three weeks. Cause you know, us girls, we just overpack those items. I have about 14 sundresses, a couple of cover-ups, maybe around 14 bathing suits as well, a couple of like tops and skirts and like three or four nicer nighttime outfits. Other than that, I think that's kind of all I have. I don't even have like one exercise dress, which maybe I should throw in on the top. Really, I'm hoping it's enough and if it's not, there's always shopping, which I'm never opposed to. I'm going to be vlogging my journey on the way to Milan on my TikTok account, so make sure you're following me on all my other social medias to see what I'm up to. I figured I have to pick vlogging or TikToking, or I could do both, but do you really want to see my first class experience? Did I say I was sitting first class in the lay flat beds? I got it for a miles upgrade. Don't come for me. Anyway, I love you guys so much. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you in Europe.